Hey guys, so I just arrived to plant and see to get some soil, but you know what that means. I had to stop by and see what's new. And what is this plant? Can somebody tell me what this plant is? Look at all the new leaves coming out, this creamy color. It's called, this This one is, this is weird, this is called the Manjula Puffles. I mean, my, this is different. My Manjula is definitely not like this. These are very nice big leaves, first of all. And then these are coming out all very little, thin, long. You see this? This is so weird to me. $49.99. Of course, you know, with this color, cold, this light color, I guess you can start getting browning. Tell me what you guys think about this plant because definitely so different than any manjulas I've seen. Uh, but it's really cool. It's really, really cool. Wow. Let's see. Do we spot anything new to show you that I haven't showed you in my last tour that I gave you that I'll be including in this video? I don't think so. Other than... This is so pretty, the color. So this is a Spring of Fire, $49.99. This is the leaf, it's really, really pretty. Okay guys, well I came to buy soil. Let's keep focused. Oh, this is question 45. you see this? So the, these are the pink princesses. They're 45, they used to be 25. So now they're going up in price. <laughs> oh wow, these princesses. The small one is 20. I want to say these to be 15. Oh, but these are beautiful. These paint, painted ladies. Oh my, this one's absolutely beautiful. These are $40. I think this is all done. Very common. Anglonema, $16.99. <laughs> but I'm not someone that knows a lot about Anglonemas. Oh uh, man, there's no name on it, but it is really, really, really pretty. That's what I can tell you. Okay, let's keep searching. Okay guys, so I'm here again at this section at Plant and Sea looking at this plant. This one stayed in my mind because it'll look at the markings, look how beautiful it is. But I thought it was a gloriosum because the leaf screams gloriosum, right? But there can't it can't be a regular gloriosum because of the growth pattern. You see how the leaves are coming from right in the middle of the center? A gloriosa normally is a crawler plant. When I mean crawler, I'm talking about like this. You see how it kind of grows to the side. That's why it's called a craw crawler, because in nature, which is beyond the ground and then shooting up its leaves after it nodes. So that's the way it grows. This is very different growth pattern. It's growing right in the middle, therefore keeping it very compact and bushy and full of leaves, which is pretty cool pretty cool but I don't know what it's called so please I'm gonna need your help is this a new hybrid variation of the gloriosum that's what I'm guessing it has to be crossed with something that's what I'm guessing gloriosum crossed with something and therefore it changed the growth pattern on us but the leaves are still very 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 similar to the gloriosum let's look at back at back of the leaves just like this seems very close to the gloriosum but um, anyways, I just wanted to share with you guys this. I'm a gloriosum lover, so <clears throat> this intrigues me a lot. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think it is. Now, there's another plant that I'm in shock that they have here. Oh, it's this one. And this is an epiprenum, and I don't know the exact name. I have to look for it. But these I know are the new ones that even in arriving in Costa Farms is bringing these in. And this is 
$12.99. It's hard to see, but there it is, $12.99. They're nice and thick. So, so pretty. And then over here, I'm just gonna go crazy right now because it's a jade skindapsis. This is one of the ones I was looking for to put in my collection because I love skindapsis. And these were so expensive and hard to find. And, and this big, 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 full, full basket, there's two here, is $29.99. Mind blowing. My little sister bought me a little cutting of this one from Texas because somebody gave her one. She's not a big houseplant person, but somebody gave her one of the, her coolest plants. Gave, and I told her she gave me actually a cutting, brought it from Texas. But you know what? Out of all the cuttings I've ever done, this one never rooted on me. So, needs to be cleaned up. That's a beautiful plant. Wow. 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 This is so cool. This nursery is so beautiful. Right over here, we have another incredible price find. I'm sorry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump... Hold on. I'm going to jump to what I wanted to show you guys. My husband's pointing in another direction. Oh, okay, so what I wanted to show you here, there's tons of amazing plants as you guys can see. But another one that I priced wise, I'm like in shock that I think is incredible is Philodendron White Princess right here. White Princess, White Princess. Is this a White Princess? I don't think this is a White Princess. This is a white princess and white princess. Guess how much they are now? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars for a white princess. Now that's great. White princess. I'm just checking it out, making sure I don't get the wrong one because white princess, twenty bucks. Ah, oh, beautiful. Now they have this one here. This is also a white princess, but it's many plants in one. A good, at least, minimum three plants in one. And this one is $40. What does this say? White princess? Yeah. Wow. Happy to see prices coming down. So they have also these Jose Buenos. Look, here, here is the variegation here. This is what you're looking for. These are a good size, as you can see. Look at that variegated leaf. And guess how much these are? These are $74.99. So much better than before. So pretty. Um, they have... I can't pronounce it. Smog, smog, this gray form, $19.99. I'm not too familiarized with these plants, but those are really, really pretty. Um, the Aurea by Penfolium, $39.99. And these are $12.99 Purple Sword. Purple Sword, what? I think I've shown you this before, though. Um, and they do have these beautiful little Ring of Fires. 50 and yeah they still have some of the Thai sunrises for a hundred dollars hey I just arrived to another plant that I've never seen that plant and see I think this is a philodendron mame 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 eye $29.99 crazy guys look at that $29.99 remember when we used to have to order these from other countries or it was just extremely expensive if you're from another country maybe you were paying I don't know around the same amount of money there is so many plants I am like staying behind and being able to Oh look philodendron glad hands these are $19.99 check it out check it out these hands look check out these leaves glad hands how cool how cool how cool and this is um I know it but in my brain right now is a fussy pedio Fussy petioles are really $15, really affordable. These giant ones with giant leaves are 40 bucks. Check out these leaves. I mean, this place, look, is a dream. It's a dream, so pretty. I 
one of my favorite leaves. <gasps> okay, this I've never seen before either. What do you think this is? The name says Philodendron Black Cardinal Caramel, 19.99. I'm telling you, this place is so much fun. Okay, now we are here in the allocation section and they have some Sabrinas for $19.99. They're actually really, really pretty. I love that stem. And they have some different, um, they have a silver dragon allocation and this one's going for $20. This is a different looking one. This is a quilted dreams allocation. You see it? This one's going for 20 bucks as well. And now this I was looking at, this I'm intrigued and I'm not too sure what it's called, but it seems like it's in the, it's a peperomia and it reminds me of the watermelon peperomia, but a different shape. It's pretty cool actually looking. And these are going for $7.99, not bad at all. Right. That's really pretty. Fanciberia Nabubia. What I love is the growth pattern. Very neat, compact, and wow. This is really pretty. This is the last one they have here. How much are you? It's $14.99, not bad at all. Very pretty. Okay. I don't know what this is. What are you? Sadu? No. $12.99. Some type of philodendron, but I'm not too sure. Little hope. So nice. Honestly, it's not that great. <laughs> not not for my taste. Oh. I like some other philodendrons. So here we have the syngonium section, and there is a nicer variety like this one, the beautiful markings. This one's a ba Baltic syngonium, and these are going for $9.99. They have these tiny ones. Again, is it called the arrow? I don't know the exact name for this one, but I know it's not common to see this. And it's $5.99 if you're into little plants. Then here we have the pink splash in Goniamus. But what's interesting is that, you know, I, I'm i not into, I I have one and I spent some good amounts of money for it. And I was one of the plants that I regret buying. It's not doing anything special for me. It's, this one's, this one's $25. But this one here, it just has wider leaves. This is $5.99. You see the difference? And this makes me as happy. So honestly, I wouldn't recommend to my friends to spend a lot of money on a pink syngonium. I think these are one of the prettier ones. Um, so, for my my opinion, these they have less splashiness. This is twelve ninety nine. This well, this is a milk. Com this is not a milk confetti. It's just a regular confetti. Usually, from what I've noticed, the regular confetti has green edges, and the milk one does not have the green edges. Very very small difference. Again, the milk confetti can be a lot more expensive. Again, is it worth it to spend a lot more money? It's up to you. Um, then here we have the Mickey Syngonium. Look at that. This is pretty cool. Dainty little thin arrowhead pointy leaves. This is pretty cool. $14.99. Not bad at all. Like that. I really like that. So yeah, the Syngonium world. Okay, so I'm done. I'm gonna go pay and I wanted to show you what I'm taking home. Um, I didn't even record much. There's a little maybe clip that I recorded to send to my sister, but I'll see if I can yeah, insert it here. But basically they had a lot of outdoor plants. And at this point, because my house is so full of indoor plants, I am adding more of outdoor plants because flowers makes us happy. And um, they're actually easier for me to take care of outside because rain can help them, especially this one. This is like a type of succulent and I was looking up its name. It's a purse lane and it's also known in the genus of Portuluca and this is so pretty. This one's a samba pink by color and I thought that was so so pretty of the leaves and um, yeah I'll find a spot for it. I have some good areas in my outdoors to get a lot of sun 
and you can see how the blooms are gonna come and I think there it's it's really really pretty and this is gonna be $2.99 so that's really pretty and then I'm also getting this lantana which you know this is not an these are pretty common to see but they're absolutely stunning the little growth patterns of the flowers the variety of the colors it makes my heart beat fast and um, I was I was telling my husband that you know I'm spending six bucks but hey I it's better than going buying maybe some cut flowers because <laughs> those will give me flowers through the whole summer so I'm really excited um, I hope you enjoyed I enjoyed walking the indoor house plant section there's always something more astonishing to see here something they've never had before and at great prices too so I hope you enjoyed I'll keep sharing in my channel a lot about my house my house plant journey my outdoor house plant journey i love all plants indoors and outdoors now um so there's a lot to share with you guys so don't forget to subscribe if you like to get uh, learn, learn about plants see relaxing videos about plants and um, enjoy all of god's beautiful creation thank you for all your kind comments i love um, learning from you guys too so keep on sharing more so i can we can learn together have a great day until the next video bye Okay guys, so this is my haul. Wow, wow, wow. I think this is another haul from this day actually. Um, so this is a plant I've never heard of before, but I saw it in Plant and Sea that they had it advertised. And it's an annual. It's, this one's called an Arizona Glow. Um, and there's another name that I saw and I don't see it here now. Uh, Thunberichia. Um, and it says it flowers all summer until the frost. So I'm spring all the way to fall, yay! And this plant on a trellis was $5. These are two different plants. I got one for a friend and one for me. Yay, isn't that beautiful? Oh, I'm excited. It's a trailing mining plant. And I think it's gonna be a vigorous grower from the looks of it. So for five bucks, why not enjoy all these beautiful flowers, even if it's just for this year. And then again, like I said, I got this mint that I got inspired by my little sister. She started collecting different varieties. This is berries and cream. And this is mint chocolate chip. But I'll tell you the truth. Uh, I've bought mint before, you know. I always like having mint, but it hasn't grown too much for me. I know sometimes it just spreads like crazy, but not for me yet. So I'm going to actually watch some videos and learn a little bit more on, mint, on, on how to take care of it. But guys, give me tips. I know a lot of you guys know how to take care of tips. Uh, mint and I know it seems like a very easy plant but mine maybe I just don't prune it enough so it gets very long and it doesn't have too many leaves so maybe I just need to work on pruning it more often anyways that is it for me I hope you enjoyed this little part as well bye